Right at the end of the Bible in Revelation 21, John is seeing the new heaven and the new earth, seeing the new Jerusalem come down from heaven and he hears a voice. John, the seer, looks into the future and he sees, behold, the calm of God. And what that voice says is, behold, the home of God is with humans. Now that really motivates the whole project, both the problem and also the solution or the vision as has been portrayed in biblical texts. And what Miroslav and I found in working on this book was if you look at scripture through the lens of that verse, if you let it kind of be your guiding thread, suddenly all sorts of things snap into place and you can see an arc that goes from Genesis through Exodus, through the prophets, through the life of Christ and the church, all the way to this glorious consummation. One of the most interesting things to me about home is that almost the entirety of our lives are squeezed in a small place of home <laughs> uh, and lived there. And home brings to fore both that which is beautiful, that has been inscribed in us by the love of those who have received us in the world and which lives in us as a vision. And also it is a site of wounds which life has inflicted and therefore also something we fear and something we, we dread. And it's precisely this tension between the beauty of the vision and the deep failures that uh, betray that vision. And I'm interested in home because it then can become a metaphor of each of our lives, which is uh, beautiful as well as broken. If the goal of God in creating the world is to make it home of God and humans together, then it is the intention of God to make this place as beautiful and as humane, as hospitable to human life as it can possibly be. At the center of Christianity is a God who's personal and who's the author of a story rather than the inventor of a theory. That means that theology, well, that means that our lives are always bound up, always taking place in the middle of the story of everything that is God's way with the world. And one compelling way you can tell that story is by seeing it as the story of God's homemaking, creating the world to be the home of God and creatures together and bringing the world to a fulfillment where it becomes that truly, deeply, and everlastingly.